Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Outland playing Dark Souls 3 Development Platers. Last episode we did ourselves uh Ir Irisil, there we go. Just Irisil of the Boreal Valley. The Boreal Valley. Uh I also showed off a lot of the weapons that I collected in the end of the last episode. But I didn't show off this boy over here, which is the Farron what's it again? The Farron Greatsword. Which is just uh the Abyss Watcher Greatsword. When you two hand it, you start getting out the dagger, you can use uh, you're... You can just pair with it. There we go. Aside from that, this is still the same, but the thing you, you can do, which is really special, is the left bumper attack, which are... Like, which is just the... Uh... The Abyss Watcher's special moveset. But I'm gonna continue using this boy because of the damage. <laughs> the fucking damage. I'll have to upgrade these weapons before I even think about using them. Because otherwise I'm just going to struggle through everything. I'm probably going to be using a lot of the weapons when I reach... Uh, like before I go into DLC and then I'll go ahead and use a lot of those weapons in the DLC. I sure shall know that I'm going to be using the, the Black Knight uh, Ultra Greatsword in the DLC. Alright, let's go and lure them this way. And they are both... Okay, that's kind of annoying. Damn it. <laughs> Just a little bit too late. Well, that sucks. I was hoping I could get the Twinkling Titanites. Well, I can always go back to get it if I really want to. If I care enough. Which I don't right now. <laughs> FYI. And even if I cared, I probably would forget about it at that point. Knowing me and my uh, my f amazing memory, I'm I'm always definitely gonna forget it. Right. I'm first gonna go and get that item over there because I want to see what it is. Because I forgot. It's either an ember or some titanite. Yep, large titanite. I will be getting that one then. Oh boy. Was thinking about maybe... Do I need to go over to the Mimic? Do I even still need a sign of Avarice? Well, it might be good for soul farming. I'll just go and throw a, an Undead Hunter Charm in this guy's face. If I'm lucky, I can get the... Uh, I can get a sign of Avarice. And if not, then it's not going to be the end of the world. I don't really need it right now. This is going to be handy when I'm going to be farming souls to <laughs> to pay for all of the uh, the titanite scales that I'm going to have to buy for all these god dang weapons. Oh well. This is an undoing of my own making. I decided that I wanted to upgrade all the weapons to equally compare them. And here I am then. <laughs> Actually needing to do that. Right, gotta love the fat man with the sticks. How are you not dead yet? How dare you not be dead yet? Oh, I don't care about that fire. Clouds don't give a fuck about your stinking fire. Ow. Nice. Wasn't sure if that was gonna hit. Right, and then we got to deal with these boys over here. Get over here, buddy. <laughs> PvP. Well, that works for me. Made me lose all my stamina, but it worked. Oh, you're lucky, buddy. <laughs> Strategy. <laughs> There we go. Give me those twin spears. That I don't even like that much. I'm not too big of a fan of all of the, like, dual wielding weapons, actually. I noticed. Just, like, in general, a thing that I'm not too big of a fan of. 
Oh, I was hoping I'd be able to sneak up on you, but that ain't happening. Are you not dead yet? Jesus. I have hit you quite a number of times. I would expect you to be dead already. Alright. Let me go and hit him in the face. <laughs> Unintentional, but awesome, I guess. Cool guys don't look at giants falling on the floor. Yes, it's me. Cool guy, Cloud. I forgot to do the victory thing again. <laughs> Damnable. It's gonna be interesting when it becomes like a habit and then I keep on doing it in the next couple of pages. <laughs> Just doesn't stop. Then I will continue to make uh, Final Fantasy characters. Wouldn't be impossible to do. But also, nah. I don't think I will. Alright. Are you kidding me? Well, that's a do I missed moment if I've ever seen one. Okay. Guess I'm gonna be fighting you the old way. Ow. By taking half of my health and damage. Duh. God damn it. Maybe I should, like, not lock on with this enemy. Ay, 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 ay. Heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Oh, are you kidding me? Get off of me! Oh. Such a stupid attack. There's no way to avoid that attack. In tight corners, in any case. And he, no, he, even outside of tight corners, once he does it right in front of your face, he's gonna start running, and his mouth turns into a fucking vacuum, and he sucks you in. I don't care what anybody says, that is what that enemy does. Whenever he starts running like that, he will... He will start sucking you in. <laughs> no. You will, like, oh, this is what I hate about Dark Souls sometimes. Dark Souls and its hitboxes are just stupid sometimes. This, this game has it the least. When, for instance, Dark Souls 1. And it's a million bosses that, like, not really a million, but a lot of bosses that love to use shockwave attacks. And they're like, okay, yeah, now I'm supposed to figure out what this invisible freaking shockwave is. Nice. Now I'm supposed to figure out how far that shockwave goes. And even still, like, sometimes you can't even avoid the shockwave. The thing is, Dark Souls 1 is just clunky. I feel like there are a lot of bosses in Dark Souls 1 that... ...would be fun to fight... ...if you had the movement of Dark Souls 3. Or even 2, like... ...once you get your adaptability upgraded in, uh... ...like once you get your agility upgraded... ...in Dark Souls 2, everything is fine. The rolling is... the rolling is pretty dang good. At that point. Alright, get over here, buddy. Okay, this time we're gonna go and do a different video. This time I'm gonna do it like this. Well, I was hoping I'd be able to... Uh, okay. Wow, I managed to stun him, but that doesn't really help me in this situation. Got him. In the middle of an attack. Fucking got him. I was thinking about maybe trying to attack when they do that. Like when they do the charge attack, try to attack their mouth. Which probably isn't gonna work. I'm probably still gonna get... I'm probably still gonna get uh, fucked anyway. And this is what I needed to do from the beginning. There we go. Goodbye, little shit. What is over here? Probably an ember. No, a deep jump, right. That makes even more sense. Uh, am I gonna go back to Firelink right now? I do have a lot of souls right now, so maybe I should.
keep on upgrading that strength. Gotta become even chunkier. Uh, do I have another bone shard? No, I don't. Okay, uh, back into the water reserve and we're gonna go and climb upwards. Out of the shithole. Into... Uh, into heaven! No, into Anolanda. I wonder though, when you do this, do you get rid of your weapon? You do. I'm wondering which things you can do with your weapon. This reminds me a lot of Barret's winning thing. Or just like the, 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 the classic Final Fantasy winning thing where they throw their airs in the hand. Uh, their airs in the hands. Wow, no. Their hands in the air. Like they just don't care. Have I ever told you how much I hate ladders in Dark Souls? <laughs> Especially the real long ones like this. They're annoying to deal with. I've noticed like I always want to go really fast through this game, so when the game doesn't go fast, I get really annoyed. <laughs> I have a tiny feeling that this is the way that a lot of speedrunners feel when it comes to games. Where like if 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 they're not going through the game at a fast rate, that they just get bothered by it. All right, time to get the Eastern's ashes. Now I should be able to buy myself uh, Titanite shards or large ones in any case. Yep, he's he's dead. He definitely died over there. He will now try to shoot me from all the way down there. God, sometimes these enemies. Oh boy. Sometimes they can do so much god dang damage. It's insane. Gotta watch out of my R1 spammage. Because they can always come to bite me in the arse. Ah, crap. Wanted to do a strong attack. Yeah, sure, the kick will definitely help. That is definitely the strategy that you should use against the Silver Knight. A good old kick. Well, against their shields, maybe. But it's not gonna do that much, I think. There we go. It is still stupid that you cannot get that spear. And their swords. It is still stupid. Because it was a weapon in Dark Souls 1. And it's not a weapon in this one. Stupidly enough. How much health do I have right now? Not Ember and 700 and some more. Hmm. I'm still right. I need, I need to look that up. How that worked, like how armor works in Dark Souls Three. I want to know the specifics of it to make sure to see to see if it's worth it to keep an armor piece equipped on my head or not. How do you like my shield slash sword uh, look? Or camera angle, sorry. Here we go. Push it I'm sorry, push it over. Maybe with my absolutely amazing English. Especially lately. I feel like my English is downgraded. That is That is what I feel right now. And my English has just downgraded over the last year. Or actually, no, just the last two years or whatever. Well, I guess it does make a lot of sense. Or just my speaking in general has downgraded. And like I said, I guess it does make a lot of sense. 
when I think about the way my life's been going the last two years. <laughs> Slash three years at this point. Alright, uh, do I have enough souls to do anything? I don't think so. And even if I had, I wouldn't care. <laughs> Loading times really do take a long time. <laughs> Especially when you're quiet and you're not saying anything. <laughs> there we go. Hey, look at that large tight map. Well, I never. <laughs> Once again, a kick. My ultimate attack. <laughs> he tried to dodge, but it failed miserably. I do know that I like these ones. The problem is... I will become overweight. I guess I have some more... I guess I should put some more points into vitality. I wanna know, this thing weighs 20. This one uh, 25, and the rest weighs like 15 or something. Yeah... That is that makes a lot of, that makes a lot a pretty big difference. This weapon. What is it with me and like choosing to use the heaviest weapon? Oh well. There might be a day when the other weapons are equal to this or better. There is going to be a day when I'm going to be switching them, of course. But that day is maybe next episode, actually. Nice gun. Got him. And suddenly there was something. I have no idea what it's called in English. Once again. Aha! Get fucked, slug. I was hoping getting slugs more slime, but. You know what I'm gonna talk about. Okay, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have, a, I have an idea. Well, there goes my idea because I got hit by a fireball. You know what, that was actually feeling perfect for me. Oh yeah, yeah, you and your cursed bullcrap. Ow. There we go. Gotta love the heavy weapons. Even though they're crit damage, sucks. There we go. Alright. Uh, I'm going to use the number. Maybe I should have used it once I were, but once I was past those uh, those annoying deacons over here that are fucking fireballs. Wow, that's a pretty nice <laughs> unison, in unison uh, fireballs. Got hit. God damn it. Fucking... Are you kidding me? Got hit by a slug. Or a slime. How dare you. I guess I'll just go and heal and continue. Slash. Slash. He's also hollow. I can see it. I can see his crispy, uh, crispy body underneath it. Underneath his armor. Oh, joy. I should be able to avoid that. Yep. The one attack that Aldrich can still do while you're at close range can be quite dangerous. Especially in the second phase. There we go. Ready? Cool, I did a grand total of zero damage. There we go. Make them in the butt. And again! Because why in the hell not? Am I right?
And here comes the fire part. Also, that move is a little bit annoying. Are you kidding me? Don't you like freaking teleporting around? It almost feels like I'm fighting Cold Steel the Hedgehog. The, this this boss does attack in a very slow and weird way which does throw me off a lot of the times wow didn't hit the slug okay where is it gonna appear now over there please don't use spells oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy Oh boy, 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 boy. Okay. Um, yeah, that. If I got hit by the. <clears throat> by the little swirling thing of death, I would have probably died. There we go. You have to be so ridiculously fast. With this tactic. You really do have to. Like if you want this to be 100% safe. You you have to be really freaking fast. There we go. Okay. So I now have all of the things that I need to uh, upgrade my weapons so let's go and take a look shall we well everything that I need to upgrade my normal weapons to a certain level so uh, you guys type night shards okay let me go and upgrade you to the final level uh, Wait, I didn't. I didn't see what I needed. Uh, I'm gonna need normal Titanite shards, so I'm gonna need ten of those. Uh, and then when it comes to large Titanite, I'm gonna need also ten of those. So ten shards and ten large. Uh, I need seven of those now. I need nine of those. Ashen one. Oh, this wood. Okay, let's go and upgrade the Zweihander. And the Lothric Knight Greatsword. And then this boy. Okay, okay, okay. So now I need six more of those. So 12 more large Titanite at least. I can buy 11 of those, okay. Um, let's see. I do have all the possibles right now. Uh, High Lord Walnir is Pyromancy and a Great Sword. The Demon is Great Axe and some Fist Weapon. Old Demon King, Great Hammer, and Pyromancy. Miracle and a Bow. What am I doing? Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> there we go. I should want. Okay, let's go and upgrade the toy handler and this one. So now I need two, and then so I also need twelve. So to to do an entire upgrade cycle, you need twelve of a certain item, which I can just barely buy. Um, let me go and sell one of these boys for a moment, so I have enough souls to be able to actually pay Andre over here. All this wood. And there we go. Okay. Now, when it comes to uh, when it comes to these weapons, which one would I like to use the most from the boss weapons? I gotta say, the Prophetic Greatsword seems like a really nice one. I don't care much for this one. So let's go and do it. I need to upgrade all of these anyway, so I might as well just start off with the Profane Greatsword. Oh yeah, right. Uh, I want to go and take a look at what would happen if I infused some of you guys with something. So I get 184 for that. These are all at the same level right now, so... 
So 217 and 184. That's not better. Uh, 211. You also get an A scaling in that. You get an S. <laughs> why? Are, why are these swords getting S scalings in dexterity? I, I I can't. Well, this one this makes a lot of sense. This one. This one's a great sword, but at the same time, like an ultra great sword, but at the same time, not really a great sword. Or like an ultra great sword. It's not a strength ultra great sword. There we go. Okay. Uh, we have that is definitely more than like that's 400 da 400 damage or something. The same as this one. So I guess in total that would be the same, for the moment, without even doing this. Which would change the scaling to 150 instead of to 50 more. But it has a better dexterity scaling than it does a strength scaling. Of course. <laughs> Alright, let's see. 238. That's the same as this one. And 200 and... Okay, so that's gonna be 200... So that's gonna do less damage, still. A tiny amount, but it will do less damage. Interesting. Okay. The thing is, all of these weapons right now are gonna do a pretty decent amount of damage. I think. I wanna take a look at how much damage the Profaned Greatsword does. Well, not as much as any of my other weapons. I guess I can run around with one of these for a moment. <laughs> the Black Knight Ultra Greatsword, or like the Black Knight Greatsword, also definitely rivals uh, my Greatsword over here in damage. What am I going to do with this? Because I could very easily just, just, just oh my god, I could very easily just switch over to something else for a moment. AD physical protect, insane. Uh, I know that this weapon, together with the Black Knight, uh, the Black Knight Greatsword, those two are gonna be the best in general. So the rest is not gonna be as good. Uh, hmm. I guess I'll go and run around to this boy for a moment. I'll just go and switch off weapons every now and then. We'll see how it's going to go. So, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of the episode. I was playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon plagers. And next episode, we're going to go and deal with Irisil Dungeon. Which is going to be interesting. So yeah, goodbye.